So right behind me is our state-of-the-art two-wheel drive Eddy Current Dyno that can measure up to a staggering 2,000 horsepower. Welcome to Harmonix Tuning. Today, we are going to be dyno testing one of India's loudest American muscle cars wrapped in this beautiful midnight purple shade. This is no ordinary Mustang. Not only does it look gorgeous on the outside, just listen to this supercharged V8 monster scream. We've been stressing on the importance of the dyno for a number of years now. And today is a great way to showcase the kind of issues that can go totally undetected in a build like this. Earlier this week, we shared the dyno charts and the data logs to the original tuners of this car. And they got back to us today saying that the car definitely seems to have a boost leak. So we are now going to take the car off the dyno, put it on the lift and see if we can find the source of the boost leak and fix it. We initially assumed the cause for the power drop was a boost leak. Couple of clamps on the throttle body hose were actually loose. So we retightened all the clamps in the car and put the car back on the dyno. The same issue persisted. So we then turned our diagnosis towards seeing if there was actually a belt slip on the supercharger. And behold, that was the issue. The data lock should be on your screen now. As you can notice, as we go past 6800 RPM, the boost starts to drop off pretty significantly. We are almost down to 1.17 on the air load, while the max value was about 1.36. What you see on the screen now is once we fix the issue, you can see that the boost remains pretty much constant all the way to 7800 RPM. The red power curve starts dropping power at 6600 RPM as is clearly visible on the dyno chart. Once we fixed the issue, the car made a phenomenal 60 horsepower more at about 7200 RPM. It's been an amazing experience working on this car. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Stay tuned for more.